We met um, at a volleyball game. John was 21 and I was 18. Uh, I had just graduated from high school and I was getting ready to go to college. When her and her girlfriend walked in, I saw her and I knew right then and there that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. When we got married, the vows that we spoke were that we would be together, we would support each other, we would love each other, we would take care of each other, we would stick together. I thought I had bronchitis and I went to the doctors and got checked and they said, no, it ain't bronchitis. They said, we want you to have an x-ray. And he found the nodule in my lung. Well, I went to see Dr. Sarkar at Franklin Square Hospital. He ran some tests and stuff and he said, you got lung cancer. When I first heard it, it was like, it's like his voice is kind of tunneling and all you're hearing is cancer. Before we left his office, things were all, everything was set up for us with whatever we needed. Dr. Sarkar sent us to see a thoracic surgeon at MedStar Franklin Square Hospital. The surgeon said that you're going to need a, a cardiac cath to make sure that your heart can handle the surgery. We were then sent over to uh, MedStar Union Memorial Hospital. Well, he had invasive cardiac disease, meaning a lot of his vessels uh, were completely occluded. So that's where we met Dr. Quarry, right there in the recovery room at Union Memorial. And the first thing he said to us was, I don't think you're going to have surgery right away for your heart. We need to have that lung taken care of first. We can't put you on the heart-lung machine because of things that could happen with accelerating a cancer, so you have to have some other treatment first. The lung lesion, knowing where it was, that the lymph nodes were clear, we kind of could have like a little bit of sigh of relief. Our anxiety was his heart, how bad it was damaged and how bad he needed the surgery. That was that ticking time bomb. We went and saw Dr. Perry, who actually does something called CyberKnife. What CyberKnife is, it's a very fine, beam of radiation and this fine beam of radiation is um, directed right at the lesion in his instance the upper right lobe of his lung the beam is directed there it's a very high frequency and what it does is it goes in and destroys that lesion and the treatment itself only lasted 10 15 minutes yeah it, wasn't long. it was very quick and i'm thinking gee this is just amazing that this is going to take care of that cancer and they're not going to have to go in there and cut him open to get it out. John had four cycles of cyber knife. Sit. Sit. July 31st, he went in and had open heart surgery. They did three vessels and he also had a aortic valve replacement too because he had a bad aortic valve. The physicians got together as a team, the cardiologist, the oncologist, the thoracic surgeon, they all meshed together and literally decided what's the best course of action for him. What I liked about um, Franklin Square and actually all the MedStar hospitals was there was no downtime for everything. No. Our, his, his, whatever he needed done was set up before we left that doctor's office and we knew when that appointment was and we knew when we were going. I would recommend MedStar to anybody they were right there with us for everything. When I was discharged from the hospital, I mean, I felt like a new person after uh, heart surgery. I, f I, I couldn't believe how I felt. In sickness and in health, till death do us part. She's lived by that. <laughs>